Hey, Neil Smith with U.S. Captain's Training. We are looking at the solution to practice problem nine. And if you've been following along in these problem sets, this is a problem that you should, you should take the problem, grab your nautical almanac, and just go for it. Try not to refer to any solutions while you go through it. I know, ironically, I'm making this video, right? And there's a solution right there. And I'm telling you not to look at the solutions. But maybe you'll never even hear this because you'll be crushing this problem. It's straightforward. Just go for it. <laughs> All right, we got compass deviation by amplitude. Practice problem nine. Let's jot that down here. We're on problem nine. And in each of these problems, we are given information. Let's check out this information that's given. First one's the date. It's April 17. The date is given as April 17th. And the vessel's position, so our position, call it DR position, is equal to 2100, 0, 0, 21 degrees, 0, 0 minutes south. And the longitude is equal to 7830 west, 78 degrees, degrees, 30 minutes west. When an amplitude of the sun is observed, the sun's center is on the celestial horizon and bears 82.7 PSC. Sun's bearing, so the sun bearing, is equal to 82.7 PSC, 82.7 degrees PSC. And variation in the area is 2.0 west. Variation is equal to 2.0 degrees west. The chronometer reads 10.59.24. So the cron time is equal to 10.59.24. 10.59 minutes, 24 seconds. And then the chronometer comes with the error. So the cron error is equal to 1 minute 24 seconds fast. 1 minute 24 seconds, and that is fast. So we end up subtracting it to get back to the proper time. What is the deviation? <clears throat> so it wants to know deviation of the compass. What is that? First thing we do is we get the GMT, the Greenwich Mean Time. So we can get into the nautical almanac and get the declination. So mean time is we take the cron time, 10.59.24. We got 10.59.24 hours, minutes, seconds. And we get the error on there, 1 minute, 24 seconds, 01, 24. And do we add or subtract it? Well, it's fast, so we subtract it. What does this give us? 24 minus 24 gives us 0. 59 minus 1 gives us 58 in 10 hours. <clears throat> Interesting thing about a chronometer is it's only 12 hours, so it goes around twice in a day. We have to figure out, are we on the first time around or the second? So if we add 12 hours to that, 10 plus 12 is 22. 22 hours, 58 minutes. Zero, zero seconds. Which one of these do we use? We can figure that out by <clears throat> taking our longitude, which is 78 degrees west. So our longitude, which is 78 degrees west, dividing it by 15. So 78 divided by 15 equals... 5.2. We're going to round to the nearest whole number. So it equals 5 hours west. So let's see. Do we add or subtract that 5? Put some time zones in here and make a little chart. 
So it's to the east we add, we go to the west, we subtract. Just going from like California to New York, we'd add New York to California, we subtract. So we're in the west, we subtract, we subtract this five hours. So let's subtract five hours from these. See what we get. <clears throat> 10 minus 5 is 5 hours, 58, zero, zero hours, minutes, seconds. And 22 minus 5, 22 minus 5 equals 17. 17 hours, 58 minutes, zero, zero seconds. Okay, so this is where this should be our zone time, right? And now, this is in the morning, this is in the evening. So we saw the sun bearing 82.7, right? That means it was in the east, means it was rising, means that it was the a.m. So we're going to use our a.m. time. Here's us in the a.m. So we use this GMT, 1058, and it's in the same day. We didn't, we didn't skip days. So now what we're looking at is Greenwich Mean Time equals 10 hours, 58 minutes, 00, zero seconds on April 17th. That's important, the day. April 17th. Okay, with the GMT, <clears throat> excuse me, we can get into the nautical almanac. And we can find our declination. So we're going to get our declination and our D value. And if it's, and if we add or subtract that. So let's go GMT, April 17th, 10 hours. <clears throat> April 17th. April 17th, oh nice. April 17th, so GMT, April 16th, April 17th, and we're at 10 hours. 10 hours. Okay, 17, 10 hours. North 10, so it carries down. North 10, 30.8, and is it getting bigger or smaller? It's getting bigger. <clears throat> North 10, 30.8, getting bigger. North 10, 30.8, getting bigger. So we go North 10, 30.8, getting bigger. Now let's double check that and get our D value. We're at 10. North 10, 30.8, getting bigger. D correction, 0 0.9. And we're going to add that because it was getting bigger. So now we go to our increments for 58 minutes and get this D value correction. <clears throat> 58 minutes, we're way back here. 51, 55, 58. So here's 58 minutes, here's our D, and we got 0.9. So here's the D value of 0.9, and the D correction is also 0 0.9. So we use 0 0.9 for our correction. 0 0.9 minutes, and we were getting bigger, so we add it. So we're at north 10 degrees, 30.8 plus 0.9, 30.8 plus 0.9 equals 31.7, 31.7 minutes. And so what we need to do is get our declination in all degrees. So we're north. 10 point, and then we do this division here, 31.7 divided by 60. 31.7 divided by 60 equals 0.53. We round up 0.53 degrees. So now our declination is north 10.53 degrees. We can use that in the formula coming up. Now let's get our latitude. Our latitude from the problem is equal to 21 degrees, zero, zero. South, 
21 degrees 00, zero minutes south. So that is, divide this by 60, we're just going to get 0. So our latitude is equal to 21.00 degrees south degrees, not minutes. Cool. Here's our latitude. <clears throat> we can plug these in. We're, we have a formula that says sine of the amplitude is equal to the sine of the declination divided by the cosine of the latitude. We can get these numbers going. The sine of the declination is sine of 10.53, sine 10.53 degrees over cosine of 21.00 degrees. Let's put these in. We'll get some numbers out. We're going to take these to the fifth decimal. So sine 10.53 equals 0.182. 75 0 0.18275 I like to double check these 18275 I've got several of these wrong just by writing my numbers down wrong didn't even punch them in wrong just wrote them down wrong cosine 21.00 three three five eight. Point nine three three five eight zero point nine three three five eight. We'll do this subtraction. Excuse me, division. Point one eight two seven five point one eight two seven five divided by point nine three three five eight nine three three five eight equals point one nine five seven five. 0 0.19575. And so this is the sine amplitude. We need to get this sign over here. So what we do is say that the amplitude will equal the inverse sine of 0 0.19575. We punch this into our calculator. And we're going to get the amplitude in quadrantal notation. So second inverse sine, 0 0.19575, 19575 equals 11.29. So we say 11.29 degrees. We need to name this east or west up front. We can see that it was 82, so we were in the east, we were rising, so we name it, it was rising in the east. And then we name it over here, north or south, same as our declination, which was north. Okay, so now we need to find our amplitude from north. We draw, we draw a compass, we can figure out the quadrants in north, south, east, west. So we were east, we're over here. We are north of east. We're up here. We're north of east by 11.29. So what does that mean? See this 90 degrees? We take 90 degrees, subtract 11.29. It'll give us this angle here, which was what we're looking for. This will give us degrees true. So we can say that amplitude is equal to 90 degrees minus 11.29 degrees. So amplitude is equal to 90 minus 90 minus 11.29 equals 78.71. 78.7 degrees true. So 78.7 degrees true. Now we can put this into a compass correction. T, V, M, D, C. So we're going down, we add west. So this is 0, 078.7 degrees true. Variation was given in the problem is 2 degrees west. 
2.0 degrees west. And so we add that. So 778. Let's just do this. i got to make sure that... One second here. I'm going to do this really quick. 90 minus 11.29. 78.7. Good. Again, these numbers, you go through enough numbers, you're going to have some hiccups. So 78.7 plus 2 equals 80.7. 80.7. It's magnetic. We need to calculate deviation, and we're given this compass. 82.7 degrees PSC. 82.7 degrees PSC. So we can name this right now. From 80 to 82, it's going up. This is going to be named west, right? But let's go 80.7 minus 82.7 equals 2. 2.0 degrees west is what we calculate. Let's see if that's right. Hey, look at that. A, 2.0 degrees west is the correct answer to practice problem nine.